Good morning everyone and welcome to this very sunny and hot day in Belgium. And today we are going to do another test of autopilot. This time it's version 2019.20.2.1. And uh, I've noticed a few differences already, but let me show you exactly what I mean. So again, the first test is the hill crest. Um, I'm not expecting much here. Um, haven't tested all the sections yet, so some of them are new to me as well at this point. But the hill crest has been fine for quite some time. It's the bottom part that I'm interested in because sometimes it veers a little bit to the left when the uh, dotted line disappears where that car is now driving. So let's see how this one reacts. Yep. It is actually veering a little bit more to the left. It's more jerky. It's not jerky per se, but it's more uh, immediate than with the other versions. So yeah, it's nothing to be worried about. The car corrects itself, but it is something that is still not handled that well uh, when a lane split or a lane merge is uh, present. And let's see how long it takes before the car needs to be away. Yeah, I would love to see the car accelerate a little bit sooner than that. But again, it is taking precautions and it is taking it on the safe side. Second checkpoint is the intersection where it loses left and right lane markings. Let's see if the car just goes straight on here. Yep, no problem whatsoever and no excessive steering movements, um, so yeah, that's good. Right before we go to the S-curve, uh, I also want to mention that because of legislation, we are still not able to do lane changes on secondary roads. But now, let's see what we get here with this S-curve. I'm hoping there's no traffic from the other side so I can let the car do its thing. Um, in the previous update it was able to take it again. Let's see how it reacts this time. So here we go. Yeah, it is beeping but it is staying within the lines. Slowing down to about 60 kilometers an hour. A little bit too much to the inside there or to the outside of that curve. This is okay. -ish. Yeah, so the initial one with the new regulation where the steering angle and g-forces, lateral g-forces, were limited, that has been um, corrected or the way it reacts has been uh, corrected a little bit. So it is now capable of handling that turn. Um, still not to the same confidence level as the, I believe it was, 2018.39.6 or 7, uh, which was still the best version to take that S-curve. But yeah, I'm happy it's now again able to, uh, to do that section. All right, so let's test a little bit of the Navigate on Autopilot. So first, I want to be in the middle lane again. I'm going to activate navigate on autopilot. Immediately, it tells me I have to go to the right, which is way too soon for the exit. Um, but yeah, that we noticed before as well. Now I'm hoping I'll be able to show you something with um, of, of behavior when an exit or an on-ramp is detected. So I'll get behind this car here. Watch out for the five second rule. Oh, just in time. All right. So if a car is coming onto the on-ramp and it is using its blinker, then I've noticed that the Tesla will slow down and give way to let that car merge into the highway, which is great. It's a little bit unexpected, but it is great. Maybe I would assume it keeps on going and maybe suggest a lane change, but it slows down and let the, lets the car in front of you. 
So okay, that's a new feature, uh, but it only works if it's using the blinker. Now here we have an exit coming up, which is a double exit. Um, this section of the highway has been renewed recently as well. So it used to be exit, lane split, and then exit again. But now there's a uh, full line there. So the lane split is no lane split anymore. So it is taking the exit. That's good. So here you see that full lane, which was supposed to be a lane split, where it uses the blinker again. And now it says it is going to cancel or end navigate an autopilot before the second exit. So this is now the before the second exit. The previous version when I did the full navigate an autopilot testing. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's weird. So when I did the full navigate an autopilot testing, it kept autopilot or navigate an autopilot active until about this point and um, now it deactivates it but then when you reach the exit it still activates it again for just the exit and that's it so that's kind of weird and i think that's a bug also something i noticed is this behavior so the car knows that i need to merge into the traffic and it is staying behind that truck i could have passed it on the on-ramp but it is slowing down to allow me to merge behind this truck. So that's also a feature of navigate on autopilot, because if you do that on regular autopilot, it will just fly past it uh, at this point. All right, so let's see how it reacts when we start passing cars. Oh, it wouldn't let me do the passing because there's a car coming behind me. So I'm activating here, just going slightly faster to uh, get past this car here. Why are they coming this way now already? Oh, the autopilot is not reacting at all. Come on, dude. You weren't supposed to be in this lane already. So I'm going manually. All right, enabling autopilot again. There's an upcoming lane change, okay. Let's see how quickly it actually suggests that lane change in front of me. Again, needing to overtake this one. Yeah, now it is already suggesting me to drive into the truck, but okay, let's activate it already. Okay, let's activate the second one in time, hopefully, yes. And now let's see how it takes the exit. It hugs the right lane, or the line. Yeah, taking that exit. Again, saying it will stop autopilot sooner than it did before. Goes to the outside of the curve here. Okay, so we don't have autopilot. Let's see if it takes a second exit, even though it says it's not active anymore. So let's see, we're going slow enough to take this corner here. Now let's see if it automatically goes to the right again, like it did before. Yes, no, yes, no. Oh, it doesn't know what it needs to do. Wow. Okay, so that's definitely worse than it was right up ahead we have the lane shift let's see if the car can take it right here we go yep that's been okay for the fa for the past couple of updates so it is taking fluently the apexes uh, so to speak, so that the steering is minimal in that section. So, yeah, I'm happy with the way it handles that now. So here we have the unmarked road section, where these lines allow me to activate autopilot. Now let's see how quickly 
it goes to the side and how it handles the turning of the road. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, yeah, here it goes to the side. Okay. It feels a little bit more stable than the previous one. Let's see how it takes this turn. Yeah, stays pretty much on the side. Will it break for the bike or go around it? It's just staying behind that bicycle. It will not go around a cyclist, apparently. That is something that still needs to be... Uh, oh, and now it uh, even beeped. That was going to have a collision, probably. Um, but that is something that still needs to be fixed. But again, disclaimer, uh, autopilot is not supposed to be capable of handling these situations. So I'm presenting a situation where the lane markings disappear and then I'm seeing how it handles it. And yeah, it's definitely not ready for prime time yet. Now what do I think about this update? Well, there are a few good things like the S-curve is taken more fluently. So that's a good point. And also I get the impression that there's a new feature on Navigate on Autopilot where it lets cars uh, if you're driving straight ahead and there's a car coming from the on-ramp um, Your car will actually brake to let the car get in front of you. So that's good And also if you go onto the highway then um, And there's a car here and you're the one uh, Coming closer, right? Then it will brake to get behind that car um, Those seem to be new features to me and the first one only works when the car merging into the highway is using the blinker otherwise it just ignores that and will go to uh, the next or will continue on, on the same lane um, I haven't seen that same behavior when a car is doing a lane change on the highway so I guess that's going to be the next one but the car isn't really taking a blinker into, into consideration when on the highway this is my experience might be different for you guys in the US but uh, hopefully that will come soon to Europe as well and um, of course there's some bad points as well like the navigate on autopilot on the first exit um, it just cancelled and then still took the second exit uh, or it just ended and then took the second ed exit uh, which is weird behavior to say the least and on the second attempt or the second exit that I took it uh, stopped working or it ended sooner than when I did the extended uh, autopilot test. But then in that turn it needed to take the exit and it was kind of doubting should I take it, shouldn't I take it. Um, so that was definitely a regression in, in view of the previous version. Um, other than that there's not much change in autopilot and it is getting gradually more and more confident in things but we are still stuck in Europe with those rules, with those regulations uh, that make autopilot less safe and less capable than it actually is. So hoping that Tesla can find a way around this and uh, yeah let's see in the next updates what that brings for us. And as always, if you like my videos, give them a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel using that button down there. And don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.